Hello, Internet Sister Root. I'm sure Florida made a goddamn mistake opening their beaches that soon, including anywhere else that has beaches that opened it way too soon. Look at the amount of numbers that spiked just because of that, just for that one event. More than 2,500 cases of COVID-19. That is a lot. Like, oh my gosh. Did they not take a page out of Canada's cautious rule book and give it at least a while longer before reopening everything cautiously? Like, it says more than 2,500. Uh, so maybe I should just reference the CDC's website. I'm going to specifically look it up for Florida and link it in the video description below. It makes much more sense rather than just estimating. But my estimate is it's beyond 5,000 numbers since the news broke. Eh, holy shit. That's what happens when you uh, open things up without proper physical distancing measures in place. And if I was to do a metric conversion, 2 meters is 6.7 feet. For you Americans out there. Those rules should be put in place immediately. Hello? That's how it happened. Wake the hell up. To the uh, realities of this. And uh, to those fringe groups. You'll be having the last laugh. When you keep uh, breaking the physical distancing rules. And keep bundling up and grouping up like that. You're the ones that are going to be unknowingly. Spreading it to everybody. Even though you possibly don't even know each other, you possibly probably already have uh, contracted it and they're spreading it. Woohoo. Other than that, Florida, you stupid fucking idiots, you made a big fucking mistake and look what happened. Now, these people are possibly going to be spreading it to others and bing, 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 the numbers are all much higher than 5,000. Suspectedly. Anyways, that is the stupidest fucking thing anyone could have done. Open shit like that far too early. Holy shit. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. I'm just disappointed and I'm actually not quite shocked on what they did. Besides, I'm not an American. I don't live out there. I ensure that I physically distance from anyone in the city that I don't know. So, yeah. With neighbors, yeah, I do keep my distance because I don't know if they have it or not. I got the test already. I don't have it. So, and when I go for rides, I make sure I keep my distance too. It makes sense anyway. There's a very low chance of catching it if you don't distance, but I make sure I distance regardless. Keep your distance. The virus cannot spread. It's not airborne. Everyone knows I keep saying it's fucking made in the lab. God damn it! It's not made in the fucking lab! And it came from a pangalore or a bat. And bats aren't flying rats either. Whoever was stupid enough to grab a bat way out in Wuhan, China's province while exploring, you fucking idiot, you caused that pandemic, you should be the one held responsible for it all. Not the whole freaking mainland. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching.